So in this video to conclude module two, we'll talk a little bit about what our options are if we need to roll back if we have a failure in the migration process. So looking at this flowchart, it appears it might be overly complex, but all it's effectively saying is if there is an issue at any particular moment, we just roll back and start the migration process again. The good thing about the migration process is that the source Windows vCenter remains untouched. The, the services are still there, the product is still installed. The only thing that you really need to worry about with the source Windows vCenter is that you may need to rejoin it to Active Directory. So if we walk through this flowchart, so we start at the begin. The first thing that will happen will be the pre-checks. If they are successful, we'll have the deploy new appliance phase. If the deployment is successful, we'll move on to the export phase. If that's successful, we move on to the first boot phase, then onto the import phase, and we've finished. But let's say we've, fail we've had a failure at the import phase, for example. So if we hit no on the import pass, we'll troubleshoot the failure, whatever it may be. And then we'll ask ourselves the question, is this an external PSC? If it's not, if it's just a vCenter or an embedded, an embedded node, we would shut down the failed vCSA, power on the source Windows vCenter. We may have to rejoin it to Active Directory, and then we would begin the process again. Now, if it was an external PSC, we also need to ask ourselves the question, where is the rest of the SSO layer in the migration process? So if there have been no other PSEs in the SSO layer already migrated, or if there's only one PSE in the environment, we don't have to worry about anything in particular. But if other PSEs have been migrated, and we've had a failure of, let's say, our third PSE in the SSO domain, we may have to actually shut down all the PSEs that have successfully migrated and, be and perform the migration again from the beginning. So you may have to roll back the entire environment. Now, in the next slide, we'll actually show how we can overcome that by using virtual machine snapshots so that we don't have to roll back the entire environment if we have a, a failure, a migration failure of just one machine in a larger SSO domain. So if we take this example, we've got two PSCs and two vCenters on the left running vSphere 6.0 on Windows. And our target is to go to 6.5 uh, vCenter server appliances. So let's say we migrate our first Windows PSC to an appliance, and that goes successfully. Once it has successfully migrated, let's take a snapshot of that PSC. Then we'll migrate our second PSC in the SSO domain, and now we'll snapshot both PSCs. So the first PSC we migrated has two snapshots, the second PSC we've migrated has one snapshot. Then let's say we migrate our first vCenter, and that goes through successfully. Again, we'll snapshot the entire PSC layer again. So our second PSC will now have two snapshots and our first PSC will have three snapshots. Now let's say we go to migrate our final vCenter server to a vCenter server appliance and there's a failure for whatever reason. So we would perhaps troubleshoot the failure, but now we need to roll back. So rather than having to roll back the entire environment and start from the very beginning, we can go to our two PSCs and just roll them back one snapshot each. So roll back the second PSE one snapshot, roll back the first PSE one snapshot. We can then discard the failed appliance that failed to migrate and power back on the Windows vCenter server. So we haven't had to roll back the entire environment, we've just had to go back one snapshot level and then we can troubleshoot the issue and start again from this point in time. So it saves us a lot of a lot of energy and, and time rather than having to roll back the entire environment. So that's how you can handle migration failures by using snapshots and to make sure that you don't have to roll back an entire environment if you have a migration failure of one node out of, out of many. So that concludes this video on rolling back vCenter server migration failures. I hope you enjoyed this video.